What's up YouTube, I'm Mike, and today I'm back with an update on my current steroid cycle. We are technically in week 14 of the cycle, but two weeks ago, I lowered my, my Trimblone dose from 300 milligrams per week to 100 milligrams per week and added in 200 milligrams of DECA for the express purposes of testing to see what 219 NOR compounds feel like in my system. <clears throat> so for clarification's sake, I'm currently running 500 milligrams of Test E, 300 milligrams of Masteron E, 100 milligrams of Trenbolone E, 200 milligrams of Nandrolone D, um, and uh, 50 milligrams per day of Proviron. That's also including uh, 10 milligrams currently of uh, MK677. Uh, the MK and the Proviron are about to exit the cycle in the next couple of days temporarily because I did not time my ordering very well and so I'm going to run out of MK and Proviron in the next couple of days so it could be as many as three weeks. They, they, may, they may honestly not make it back into the cycle. We'll just see how it goes. So um, for the purposes of this video, um, I, I've made numerous videos covering this particular cycle. All that really is relevant at this point is how I'm feeling since the change um, the, the lowering of the Trimblone and the increase or the addition of the DECA. I am very, very happy to report that I feel phenomenal still. Um, just lowering, lowering the Trimblone without a doubt has uh, massively improved my mood. It's massively improved my ability to connect with my wife. Um, and, but admittedly, I will, I will admit alongside that, there's been some tinkering with um, estrogen and uh, prolactin. So for what it's worth, I was taking three quarters of a milligram of cabergoline, cabergoline um, while I was on 300 milligrams of trenbolone and that was sufficient to control my prolactin, although I feel like it might have been on, if, if, if anything, it was on the low end. I was, I was taking three milligrams of of a Remedex to offset the 500 milligrams of test E and I now know uh, that that was also on the high end. So over the course of the last two weeks um, I have made some changes to my ancillary drugs. All of this information if you're if you're if you're if you're curious can be found on my discord channel that I have that is growing every day. Uh, the link to that is on my channel page. So I have a section titled my current cycle where I keep a running list of everything that I'm currently running. So um, I increased my Arimidex, I had, I had increased my Arimidex from three milligrams to three and a half, and that still wasn't enough to offset um, the, the estrogen side effects that I was experiencing. So I'm now at four milligrams of Arimidex. Um, please keep in mind that the reason that I had to go up an entire milligram is not because of the 500 milligrams of test purely. Um, I think at 300 milligram, three, three milligrams of Remedex does, does a very good job of offsetting uh, 500 milligrams of testosterone, admittedly being a little bit on the high side. Um, the addition of the DECA ha definitely seems to, in to have increased my total estrogen conversion, and so it is now taking four milligrams of Remedex to offset that estrogen, and I'm feeling relatively confident that we're in the sweet spot right now. It's been, it's a little too early to call, but for various reasons, um, I think that we are in the sweet spot for both uh, prolactin and Arimidex. So I am currently running one milligram of cabergoline per week and four milligrams of Arimidex per week with the rest of the drugs that I mentioned. Obviously on top of the, the, the androgens, we have uh, 700 IUs of HCG twice a week. Telmasartan at 160 milligrams per week, uh, excuse me, per day. Uh, Cialis at 5 milligrams per day. Zopaclone at 7.5 milligrams per day. Ambien at 10 milligrams per day. And Xanax at 0.5 milligrams per day. So I'm taking almost everything in the pharmacy to apparently attempt to put on a little bit more muscle mass and be. Uh, have the the psyche and the the sexual performance and the relationship that I want and so far that <laughs> all of this tinkering has led to this being the cycle as we are run, running it currently I saw in one of my comments section on one of my update videos somebody said 
a few weeks ago, a week ago, like, holy shit, you know, like I was copying your cycle and, and now I have no idea what to do because suddenly I just switched it all up, which is why I've said a million times, uh, don't fucking copy my cycles. This, you should never copy anyone's cycle. This is the, that's the reason that most pro bodybuilders, most people in the, in the bodybuilding community don't want to talk about the shit they run because they know somebody who has no clue what their, how their body is going to react to different things or just going to run out and copy the cycle. And the, the, the problem with that is when you just copy my cycle, you don't know how much uh, estrogen your body your, your body's gonna make you don't know how sensitive you are to prolactin if you're sensitive to it at all you don't know how much HCG you need you sure as hell shouldn't be copying my sleep fucking medication program because there oh, probably nobody has the sleep problems that I have I mean I'm sure there's people but mine mine are out of fucking control I'm a total head case so a lot of these drugs that I'm taking, I do not take for bodybuilding purposes. I've said this ad nauseum on this channel. I am not a real bodybuilder, basically. Like, I I've built a body that I'm pretty fucking happy with. I'm trying to grow it in small amounts, but the vast majority of the, of the drugs and the compounds that I use are purely for uh, optimization. I try to optimize various facets of my life from my sexual performance, to my general mood, to my energy levels, to how I feel in the gym, to how lean I can be. Uh, there's just a variety of factors that, that I use anabolics to address. And so there's like next to nobody on earth probably should be copying any of my cycles, certainly not conventional bodybuilders. So th the whole purpose is me just being transparent because very few people are to give you at least some idea of how your body might react to these compounds. So um, my strength in the gym is good. Um, I, I'm not entirely certain yet, you know, because the, the trend's coming down and the deck is coming up. I'm, I'm interested to see where we're going to land with, with overall strength when everything stabilizes. I would say, if anything, right now I am stronger than I was on the trend. But... I attribute that 100% to the fact that already in week two, my joints are exponentially better. I mean, there's it's it's unbelievable. I basically don't feel my joints. I, I would say that I feel my joints on 5% of my reps or, or maybe, you know, like there, there's plenty of exercises. I don't feel them at all during the exercise. Today, I did arms. And when I was doing close grip, close grip uh, bench press at like 225 for 10, um, I felt I felt my right elbow a little bit after the set, not during the set. And I usually have nagging joints the entire workout. So already in week two, the the, the Deca is working sufficiently in my system to completely offset the joint pain, and I think that is really where the strength is coming from and not from actual muscle, you know, change in muscular strength. I think that it's just that my joints have been a limiting factor that I was probably much stronger all along if not for my weak joints, which is another reason, like, you know, you, I get guys in my comment section, they're like, oh, bro, I, I kind of thought you'd be stronger than that on all of that shit. And it's like, fuck you, dude, I'm 43 years old. Yeah, if you put, if, if, if some 25, 27 year old, 30 year old kid takes all the shit that I'm taking and is not built like a 13 year old girl, then yeah, they're probably going to be way fucking stronger than me. I'm an old man. Like, I, I have beat my body my entire life with street drugs and alcohol and poor sleep. And it, the, the, I have no excuse to be in as good a condition as I actually fucking am. And so there's a lot of factors that can go into strength just besides how big you are and how much gear you're taking. My joints are a massive limiting factor and so it's very possible that I'm going to end up being much stronger overall with DECA in my, in my cycle than I was at very high doses of, of Trenbolone and, and other compounds. Um, I think I left out the 300 milligrams of mast. Anyway, you, you, if you've been following the channel long enough, you know what the fuck I'm taking. So, um, I am on also 300 milligrams of mast wrong. Fuck it. 500 milligrams of test E, 300 milligrams of mast E, 200 milligrams of nandrolone decanoate, 100 milligrams of 
trenbolone E, uh, provirin at 50 milligrams a day, those are the anabolics currently in my system. Now, how long am I going to run this cycle? Uh, until I'm dead. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I honestly don't know how long I'm going to run this cycle. The only, the, as I am aware of currently, the only biomarker that I'm actually that I'm actually struggling with is my cholesterol. That's the only thing that's out of line. And every single day that goes by, I read a new article that's effectively titled, Everything We Thought We Knew About Cholesterol is Wrong. So I am, I am sort of in a willful ignorance state right now where I'm basically just pretending like the number, the cholesterol number on my blood work doesn't actually mean anything uh, until I start getting signs and symptoms that I have atherosclerosis or congestive heart failure or something that would indicate that there is something wrong, that my cholesterol is at least leading to some kind of a problem. So if I die suddenly, then maybe I was wrong and uh, the cholesterol was a major problem. I did just recently read a report uh, an autopsy report of a 24-year-old bodybuilder who uh, died suddenly and uh, was found to have very extensive uh, atherosclerosis uh, plaque buildup in his in his arteries. I think it's arteries, right? Not veins, arteries. Um, in fact, they they dissected some of his arteries and found 75% blockage in some of his arteries. He was 24 years old. Now, of course, you know I'm going to suspect that this is. You know, genetic, I think they said in the article actually that there was no history of heart disease in his family, but, um, you know, call it my unwillingness to believe <laughs> that what I'm doing to my body is dangerous. I, I just, I think if that was common, uh, bodybuilding wouldn't exist. There, there would be no sport of bodybuilding, obviously, because we'd all be fucking dead uh, long ago. So I think clearly there was something else going on there, but, um, you know, as I'm always trying to make clear, this is not medical advice. I'm not a doctor. I am a fucking idiot with a fucking Google connection. That's it. Like, everything that I'm doing, I research on my own and tinker and fucking put together and try to make the best of it. So, uh, there you have it. For those of you who are interested in how this cycle is going, that is the, the update currently at the 14-week slash 2-week mark of the current cycle. Again, if you want to, um, you know, all of this is on my Discord page, and as I make changes and updates to my uh, to my cycle, I update that in real time. So if you, for some reason you care to follow along with that, then definitely join the Discord. Um, obviously, the fan sites are still alive and cracking. Uh, subscribe to the channel, click the bell button, share this content, support the channel any way you can. My wife and I are desperately trying to continue living our fairy tale lifestyle where neither of us have to work. Uh, big thanks to Donald Trump something. Do you remember, was it? Don Trump. Don Trump with, with a, a massive $100 super tip. I cannot thank you enough. Anybody who has ever given a super tip on my YouTube channel, uh, know that that, that that love is very much appreciated. So I will ramble on no further on this video. If you have any questions or comments, not advice. I'm not interested in your fucking input about what I should or should not be taking. Um, <laughs> that might just get a video made about you. So any other fucking comments that you would like to share uh, in the comment section below. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.